Okay, now in this part we'll be focusing on the after image and the white particle debris in the particles flying up, which are both pretty easy except they just have a lot of small parts to them. So first we'll just make our material for it. So we'll call this M underscore um, debris. Uh, actually, let me just call this UR Ultra Instinct Particle, just to keep up with the Ultra Instinct Naming Convention. And yeah, so for this, all we need, actually, all we need is to make this of type um, additive. Uh, make this two-sided and oh yeah right for usage we have to make sure we have it set to use with particle sprites so here for emissive color it's we just particle color we'll multiply this and then we'll multiply the opacity of our particle color so we'll plug this into emissive, emissive color and this into opacity and we'll multiply both of them by our radial um, grain ex, uh, exponential if I pronounce that right times 10 If I plug this into here and here, that should be that. Yep, so we just need a nice glowing orb. So now we can get started on the actual particle. So, actually, let me make particles. Let's call this P underscore. UI particles. First, we'll just make this off type GPU sprite. Um, required, all we need to do is add our UI particle we just made. Um, spawn, I'll have this set to 2, and I'll make my rate scale 20. As you can see now, it's spawning quite violently. And yep, lifetime, let's set these to one and two, just to alternate. Initial size, okay, so our maximums, I'll set them all to three. Minimums, I'll set them to one, one, one. So now our particles are coming out like this, so something something like what we want, then we can move on to, um, yeah, initial velocity, actually. I'll set the maximum to all 10s, 100, yep. And our minimum, yeah, we can, we can actually keep it as a default, to be honest. Radial, and now color of a life. So the only things we'll need to do is, we'll need to just add an extra element to our alpha curve. So at zero, we want it to be one. At, then at point eight, I want it to be two. Then at one, I want the output to be zero. So we've got that. Now for our location, we use a sphere. And I'll set our start radius to 50. Yep, we can just use that. Velocity scale, I think one would be probably be the best value. Yep. Start location, all zeros. And yeah, we could just straight up use this now if you want the bare minimum effect. So if we go to our blueprint, open, and 
And if we go here, uh, add our particle system of this. Let's drag this bit down here. Hit compile, hit G. And this is what it pretty much looks like in game. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me just clean out some of my blueprints first. Okay, now we'll just get started on our after image. So first, let's just make a blank actor called BP underscore after image. And now let's create our after image effect. So all we need to do is uh, click on our character mesh, find UE4 body, uh, duplicate it. Let's create an M underscore after image underscore UE4 man underscore body. Got to keep up with the naming convention. So if you go up here, if you uncheck use material attributes, and over here, if we break this and change this to from mask to additive, and then if we get our base color, we multiply this by a value of 10, and then we get our emissive color and multiply this by a value of 2 then we can get our world position offset uh, ambient occlusion refraction and then for opacity all we need to is make a variable called opacity yeah Let's set this to 1 for now, and if we hit apply, this is pretty much our intended effect. So, from here, oh yeah, during, during the pause I just realized I forgot to get an animation set up for our after image. So I just exported one over from another Unreal project. So if we open up our after image, all we need is a poseable mesh. And we'll make this of our mannequin. Hit compile. And now if you do spawn, actually no wait. Add custom event. I will pull the spawn after image. After image is one word, and then we'll create a dynamic material instance of after image. Um, promote. Let me just promote this to a variable so it's easier, and we'll call this. after image material and I'll make another variable called model reference which gets a reference oops which will get a reference to our skeletal mesh's current pose so model reference Um, actually, and then now we just get a for loop. Get a model reference. Get number of materials. Minus it by one because computer starts with from zero. Then get our posable mesh set material of this to our after image material and 
then on completed we'll have a copy pose from Sialto so this will get our current the current pose of our um, <clears throat> this will get the current pose of whatever else animation our characters are doing and we'll save it and then we'll add a timeline and call this after image timeline let's give this a float one actually wait let me delete this look name this track opacity let's give this a value of one at zero our opacity shall be one and at one our opacity shall be zero right click right click user and done and over here if we just get our material we'll set scalar value of, of of the opacity we said earlier and I spelled oh yeah no wait, that's how you spell opacity plug this in here and destroy our actor cool so that should be it and now let me actually set up the animation so all I did was import this crouching start animation. I created an animation notification called after image UI. And I think I'll drag this one back here. I got went to blueprints. I actually started to, and you just make a default slot or whatever you name your montage um, def a group. And then I actually went ahead and did this and then realized I wasn't recording. It was we just make an we make a call to this. Actually first let me make an after image event in my uh, blueprint for the character. So open this. So add add custom event after image. So when we call after image all we'll do is Born actor from class after image and from here we'll set our model reference to our mesh and we'll have an event called spawn after image here. So now if we, all oh right, I forgot to get our mesh and we'll uh, get its world transform. Here and now let's call our after image event. Yep, and now let me just make an input for it. So let's do F key. Let's play our animation montage of our crouching start. Oh, yeah, just so we get a nice effect, let's just play this at one fifth of the speed. So, if you want to see after image in action, hit F, you can see the fades there and there. Now all you need to do is add your own music to this and you should be all good. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you learnt, uh, learnt something.